Welcome to another edition of the Keto Journey. I'm your host, Jermaine, and today marks the end of week 11, the beginning of week 12. Um, we're closing in on three months that we've been doing this this diet, and uh, next week is going to be action-packed. It's probably going to be one of my longer videos. Uh, I'm going to go into some Q&A. I have a few questions that people have been asking me throughout the last three months in regards to um, motivation and cheat days and working out um, that I'll go over to in more details in that video and I also will give some measurements not only will I do uh, how much I weigh how much I've lost thus far but I will also do how many inches I've lost uh, BMI and all the other great numbers that doctors and people use to figure out how much progress they've been making I will get into all of that next week. This week will be one of a one of the shorter videos. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, I don't know if you saw last week's video, but there was a hurricane that came through. As you can tell, I'm back in the room where I do most of my recordings. My uh, office slash game room slash uh, fortress of solid. I don't know. So power's back. AC's back. Fans back. Slowly restocking the fridge. Um, so life is good. Everybody's safe. Minimum damage to the roof. That's already been fixed. Um, and we're keeping it moving. Briefly this week, I'm going to talk about temptations. I believe I've touched uh, this subject in other videos, but um, they still exist. I'm only three months into this. this even though it's been a habit, uh, I've been sticking to what I've created for myself as far as my diet goes. Temptations still happen. This weekend, my sister recently got married, and on the same day, one of my good best friends got married as well. The thing that was tempting was, traditionally they have awesome food, cake, desserts, all that fun stuff. So I had two locations, two venues I had to uh, avoid temptations. I had to avoid the alcohol, the open bars, I had to avoid the buffet, I had to avoid the endless amount of cakes and cookies and donuts and candy it was it was crazy but it wasn't too challenging i will admit i did want some of that red velvet with a cream cheese cake but i didn't need it um i stuck to it because and i'll get into more of this next week but it's all about motivation so it's all about knowing why you are doing something in life in diets in work it doesn't matter what it is you do you need to always know why you're doing what you're doing and uh, luckily I do. I know why. And like I said, next week's video is going to be awesome. This week is, uh, I mean, I'm exhausted. I was gone all weekend. We drove back on Sunday. I still managed to get a run in. And um, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of losing weight. It's all about being accountable to myself. And it's all about that weight number at the end of the day for me. Like, I run because I like medals. And I'm doing this diet because I like to see the pounds fall off the scale. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the numbers. So last week during the crazy hurricane situation, um, I weighed in at 274.5 pounds. Currently, I weigh 270.7 pounds, which is a loss of 3.8 pounds and a total loss since we started back in July of 37.3 pounds whoa almost three months almost 40 pounds almost the 260s next week's gonna be a big week like i said we're gonna be doing measurements before and after pictures what else we got planned next week we're gonna do a q a so if you have any questions definitely put them down in the uh comments below um if you have any suggestions on what i should do for future videos I'm still can continue to do one a week definitely these catch-up videos these what I did during the week videos are going to continue I'm also going to start doing some unboxing videos for not only technology that might help you on your journey but also there's a thing called keto crate and you maybe have you heard of it that I had a chance to dabble with so um, hopefully that video will be up this week as well but that's it like I said, it's going to be a short one. Maybe. It might be a short one. It might be a five-minute, six-minute video. I don't know. I can never tell these days. 
So with that being said, it's time for me to jump off. It's late. Um, I'm tired. I need to get some rest. Got a full week of work and exercise and all kinds of fun stuff planned. So tune in next week. There'll be our official three months in. It's going to be exciting times. I'm kind of excited to see what these before and after pictures look like. But until then, keep it keto.